Hi, my name is Alyssa. This is my first year being a camp counselor, and I've been to camp for seven years. Hi, I'm Peyton. This is also my first year as a counselor, and I have been to camp for seven years as well. So today, we're, we're teaching you guys how to tie-dye! Tie -dye. <laughs> Yay! Woo! Okay. okay. So first, the things you need to tie-dye are gloves! Dye, shirts, preferably white, and some rubber bands. So the first thing you're going to want to do is lay your shirt out flat in front of you, <laughs> like so. Then, you decide what pattern you want to make with your tie-dye. So, depending on how you fold it is how your pattern will look at the end. I'll be doing the spiral pattern. I'll be doing what is on my shirt from 4 H Camp Flash. So this is how you do the spiral pattern. You start with your hand and you stick it in the middle of the shirt and pinch it. And then you're gonna twist the shirt into a circular shape, <laughs> into a cinnamon roll. That's the way to put it. Um, <laughs> and then you grasp it all together until it's in one big circle. One big cinnamon roll. Then you take rubber bands and you put it together. So now, I'm going to take my band and I'm going to wrap it around the shirt like so and then you can always scrunch it again if it comes undone and you're going to want to put them all around the shirt so that your pattern stays together. So you take your dye and you're gonna put it in the shirt. <laughs> and you're gonna wanna get down in the crevices too. So I've started putting dye on my shirt. You're gonna wanna put the amount of dye wherever you want it to go on the shirt and make sure you get enough on it so that it won't come out. If you put more dye, it won't be as faded, so. So, to get this pattern, you need to fold you need to put your shirt like this. You put the sleeves in and fold it in half. And then you start folding it like a fan. All the way down to the bottom. This is what the finished product looks like. Then you take rubber bands and you put it on. This can also be messy, so make sure you have a tablecloth. And if you don't want dye on your hands, wear gloves. So I'm gonna start in the middle of the quilt. Like Peyton said, you want to get it down in the crevices. Now that we have finished dyeing, you put your shirt into a bag and tie it up. If you have siblings, you might want to put your name on the bag so you know which one is yours. And then you'll let it sit for about eight hours, I'd say. Once you're done dyeing, you can take your gloves off. <laughs> Clean hands. Okay. okay. When you take it out of the bag after eight hours, I would rinse it off with the hose. And then you can stick it in your washer. I would not put anything else in there with it or else you might get dyed. And then you can also wash it in like a bin of warm water. Once you take it out of the washer, I would not put it in the dryer. Um, I would let it air dry. You can hang it outside. You can put it in the dryer, but just be careful. Yes. Once you take it out of the dryer, it'll look something like these. These are from past camps. Hope, Hope you enjoyed tie-dyeing. Have a nice day. Bye.